You know, there are some days that God will say something, do something, and you get so excited about it. This is one of those days. That God just says something clearly out of this world. It's like it dropped from nowhere. But it has always been there. You know, like we understand the word of God comes to a revival sometimes in your life. There's a particular word of God. It jumps out to you and makes a difference completely. You're in some distress. You're in some situation, some confusion. And one word of God shows up and everything dispels. And you become triumphant. Today is one of those days. We are going to read Psalm 28, verse 8. Psalm 28, verse 8. The Lord is the strength. And he is the saving refuge of his anointed. Yahoo! You know, you can celebrate, man, the Lord is your strength. Are you his anointed? Do you belong to him? Even in the worst form of weakness, the Lord is your strength. When you are weak, the strength of God magnifies in you. When you can do nothing, God shows himself up for you in a different kind of way. Like I said a few moments ago, there are days that the word of God will come to you in a very strange way. What state have you found yourself? In sickness? In distress? In one form of problem or the other? Some situations that have made you completely weak, unable to do anything. You know what this word of God comes to you today saying? The Lord is your strength. Move in the strength of God. Gideon saw himself as very weak, as useless. He ran on that wine press just to be able to hide himself and hide whatever he was producing from the Midianites. It was that bad, that weak. But you know, God had given him strength, and God showed up and said, move in that your strength. What was he saying? I have given strength to you. I am your strength. Move in that strength. You can be even as fearful as him, or even worse than that. Let's assume there was anyone who is worse than that. But whatever state that you are, today the word of God comes to you. God is your strength. He will strengthen you in that situation. And when God strengthens you, you are more than victorious. What can stand God? Nothing. Nothing and nothing can stand God. Put all the things together that are in this world. They can go in a flick second. And God can bring another multitude more than what we have today into the same earth. There is nothing he wouldn't do when he decides to do it. But let me punctuate that by saying God will never lie. So I'm not talking in terms of such things. I am talking about God doing things for his children. I am talking about God reaching you in a special way. You are so weak, God is strengthening you. And by the strength of God, you will triumph. Gideon woke up from under the wine press and he became the leader in Israel. Wherever you were rejected, wherever you are trampled down, wherever everybody looked down upon you, you wake up today and be a different person. They will look up to you. Those that you beg from will have to feed from you. Something very drastic will happen. I said there is a day the word of God comes in so special a way that, wow, it changes all things. This is that day for you. The same day for me, for all of us. Wake up in the strength of God. And he is the saving refuge of his anointed. God is not only strengthening you, he is a refuge for you. God is my refuge and strength. Who can stand against me? If God be for you, who can be against you? God will not strengthen you to go and perish. God will not strengthen you to go and die. God will strengthen you and become a refuge for you. He's a coverage for your life. God was a coverage for Job. That even the devil had to complain, you have made a coverage around him, I can't reach him. More than that coverage is coming to you today. More than that coverage is your portion today. More than that coverage is your portion through life. All you need to do is live unto him. Don't live unto yourself. Don't live unto the standards of this world. Don't live unto the preachings of men that tell you to disobey God. Obey God, obey his commandments, keep his ways, walk in his will. And as he has strengthened you today, that strength will remain all the days of your life. And because he has strengthened you, he becomes a refuge for you 
all the days of your life. Nobody and nothing in this world can do you in. Whatever plans come up against you, they will all fail. God has made you strengthened, covered, and permanently victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in that rejoicing. Go in that power. Go in that strength of God. Go in that enablement of God. Your coverage is secure. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.